I've been hit a lot. In short term, I have issues, but long term, I've got these amazing memories about staying. I just thought it was really unusual that stuff that is in my head right. that I can recall so readily. Sting might not know because of that time period where he fell into trouble. Well, how do you reconcile that? Because I've always been fascinated by that with you because sometimes we'll come in here and I'll start a story and man, you know what you wrote word for yeah. word. You remember every little detail about these stories. But for instance, the reason we call Dave Silva, the man behind the camera, Grillo, is the first several times you met him, you forgot his name. Right. And, and well, I, I find it fascinating that the short term and long term seemingly are way different. They are way different. Why is it's, that? Do I think? don't know. I don't know. I mean, I we I, I will make it a point to research that reason. Maybe put a call into Chris Nowinski. But I do know that I was really struggling. I know this isn't the subject of the no, show, but there was though. a there was a time where I was really having trouble. You know, where the people talk about a muted feeling, almost like being underwater where I would just wake up, and I think I touched on this in my A&E biography that was out a couple of years ago, where I would wake up and just be like, I would know this day doesn't even have the potential to be good. It's just this feeling, it's, ah, just that's underwater feeling. You have it for so long, that becomes like the new normal. And then it's what I, so I realized I'm having trouble here. So in 2012, 2013, when I was doing the one-man shows, there was really a sense of urgency because I felt like I was in a bad place memory wise, you know, um, mood wise, just in that it wasn't like I was throwing things around the house. I never got angry or anything like that, but it was just really hard to get out of that doldrums. And, uh, and in my case, I think it was directly related to the concussions. So uh, some time goes by. I see uh, Chris Nowinski at my show in Boston. He asks me how I'm doing. I said, Chris, I said, this is crazy, but I'm feeling a lot better than I was. And he said, Mick, that's because what you're doing on that stage is the best form of exercise for your brain. I said, really? He goes, well, look, you're, you're working on stories. You're, you're memorizing some stories, and you're playing off the crowd. He said, it's like doing gymnastics for your brain. And I think I, I've taken on enough things that keep me, that keep my brain sure. exercised. Okay. The show being one of them, um, the, uh, the cameos being another, uh, the one-man shows. I'm not going to go out on the road with those for uh, another year and a half. But even the conventions, you know, where you're having, you're, you're you know, you're, you're entertaining, in a sense, you're trying to create a moment for people. Yes. Not just an autograph. You're trying to make them feel special. And all of those things, I think, uh, are really helpful for my brain. I do have some things where I can't remember. Like, I'll go to a commercial, there'll be like a commercial break, and, I, and then I'll think, like last night I was watching Law & Order SVU, one of my go-to shows when... Uh, you're really, traveling in a hotel. Traveling in a hotel. And they go to commercial break, and I just had to really think, what did I just watch? What did I just see? And then I have to try to piece it together. So I do struggle with that. But as far as the long term, yeah, I feel really like it's a gift to have these strong, all these great memories in vivid and be able to recall them vividly. I know we're sidebarring here, but I don't think you maybe having that moment watching TV is that big a deal. Like I, I think a lot of us, myself included, We've all been driving, and we sort of zone out, and, and we're you, not really thinking about. You couldn't driving. even tell what the last. Did song I stop you at the at. red light? <laughs> did I? Did I? I don't remember going through that stop sign. But you're just sort of in automatic. I don't yeah. know why that why our brains work the way they do. Maybe we should have a <laughs> key on sometime. But I just find it fascinating that you remember such great detail, but then something innocuous that was more recent, it's like gone. Yeah. Out, yeah. Gone. Exactly.